Welcome back to The Lead. We're learning more about what happened during the three horrific hours of the standoff inside Pulse nightclub. Survivors desperately trying to escape death, climbing over a fence, hiding in bathrooms, desperately texting and phoning friends and family. Let's bring in CNN correspondent Tom Foreman to help us visualize exactly what happened at the scene of the crime. Tom, I think a lot of us are confused about exactly what happened. First of all, how did the killer get into the club? We know that there are eight different possible entrances here. We know that his car was parked somewhere over here. You mentioned those fences. There's a fence that runs all the way around here, the main entrance over here. So did he go around and come in? We don't have that clear yet, but we know that once he went inside the club that we believe the situation quickly started developing in the main room. This club is essentially three different areas, dance floor and bar over here, dance floor, main stage in here, and then a patio bar over here. The shooting seems to have started in this area, and then, according to authorities, at some point, he tried to come back outside, and there was a gun battle that broke out between an officer who was on the scene, who was working security there, and two others who showed up, and he went back into the club. And then all indications are that he basically got pushed by the pressure of the officers up this way. So by 217 or so, we know that people were already pushed up into this area with him, and we know that he seems to have hunkered down somewhere in one of these bathrooms up in this area, in this little dressing room here. A lot of people had fled trying to get out these ways, but we know somewhere up in here seems to be where he was. It looks like it was probably this bathroom because we know then, after that long standoff, those phone calls you talked about, maybe even some communication with officers inside the building at that time, according to police, they finally hit this outside wall here. When we talk about them attacking from the outside, there were two explosives set off, and then they hit that outside wall. That's what this is, where they hit the wall with this Bearcat device, which is a large armored personnel carrier, smashing holes in the wall. And that's why it looks like it was the center bathroom. And if you look over here, you can see all the bullet holes in this wall, particularly around this big hole, suggesting this is where he tried to come out of the wall and was finally shot down by the police three hours into it. So that gives you a little lay of the land, uh, Jake, and you can tell with all the noise inside there, the darkness and everything else, why it was such a chaotic atmosphere and so hard for people to find the exits and get out in that chaos. All right, Tom Foreman, thanks.